Hey guys, it's Landon from Redefine Horizons. In this video, I am going to show you how a cash flow management spreadsheet works. I thought I had a video on this on the learning channel, and I do not, so I'm going to rectify that today. Um, I did a episode of, of my new podcast on uh, business topics for land surveyors about cash flow management, and I promised to. to record a training video that showed uh, how a cash flow management spreadsheet worked. So I'm following up on that in the video today. <clears throat> so I have an example cash flow spreadsheet set up here in Microsoft Excel. Let's just rename this. And so it's pretty simple. Uh, as I explained in the podcast episode, uh, it's like a, a checkbook register or, or a accounting ledger, but it looks into the future instead of looking into the past. So pretty simple, and there's different ways you can set this up. I'm just showing you one example. So I've got a few columns here. I've got the date. I like to have the day of the week. Then I've got a column for money coming in to the bank, bank account, money going out of the bank account. Um, and then I have the bank balance. Now, in a more complicated business, you might have more than one bank. Um, you could, in theory, uh, keep all that in a single spreadsheet um, and this this running balance in column E here would be all of your bank accounts together or you might have a separate tab for each bank we, we do have a couple uh, bank accounts here at my small business but uh, one of them is our primary bank so if you're a small business you can probably use a, a setup that's similar to mine because you're only gonna have one one main bank okay so I went ahead and uh, filled out some of this example. So um, I've got my payrolls in here. So I'm, I'm running, in this example, I'm running two monthly payrolls. Ex sorry, two payrolls a month of $12,000. So in my cash flow spreadsheet, I like to have those bright red and bold because that's typically your business biggest expense as a, uh, as a serving company or a professional consultant. And so that's usually where you get your cash flow pinch points. And I actually put these in the wrong column. So this is money in. So these, these payments are actually money in. Okay, now I will tell you, you do have to pay attention to your spreadsheet, uh, your cash flow management spreadsheet, because if you make a mistake in here, uh, it can mess your world up. Um, so we always try and get more, more than one eyeball on our cash flow spreadsheets. Uh, and I, I have these formatted as currency, so if, if there's zero, you're, it's not going to show anything. It'll, it'll look like this. <clears throat> so you can see I can zero these out. Okay, but what we actually want to do is put in a formula. I'm um, sorry, I just, just zoomed out of my camera view there. So we actually want to put these in as a formula. Um, and so the way this formula works is we want to take uh, the balance the existing bank balance, we want to say we're going to subtract the money. Oh, sorry. We're going to add the money in. And then we're going to subtract from that total. We're going to subtract the money out. Now, we don't keep money in and money out on the same row, but we're going to set up this formula so that we don't have to change it. So you can see on each row, I, I never have a row where I have money in on the same row as the money out. That would be bad. That's not how you set up this ledger. So you can see how this works. I've got 25 grand in the bank. I run a $12,000 payroll. That leaves me with $13,000. And we can just cut the, copy this down and uh, paste in the formula. Okay, so it's going to keep a running balance for us. This is like a prediction of what the, the bank, about, bank account balance is going to be. So I get eight thousand dollars here. I get twenty uh, two hundred here. I get sixteen. Then I run a payroll. Then I've got my office rent coming out. Then my office utilities, my business insurance payment. I run another payroll at the end of uh, or or the second week of March. And I didn't update this date. So let's just say this is March fifteenth. Okay. So this allows you to look ahead and say, all right. When I run a payroll, I'm not getting cash flow pinched, right? Or when I pay these other expenses. Okay, and also another thing I do in my spreadsheet, just because it makes me feel good, 
Makes me feel warm and fuzzy. Because I always make my money in bright green. Okay, so here, here's what happens in real life. So we've got uh, this example here where I've got this $16,000 payment uh, for this job here. 272-2. Let's say that client calls and they say, man, we're having an issue. We're going we're gonna to have to pay you uh, 30 days late, 30 days later than we thought. Maybe it's a good client. They just say, hey, something came up, you know, whatever. Our business bank got hacked or, you know, our building burned down or whatever. Something happens. They're going to pay you late. So you say, all right, this isn't going to come in when I want. So it's going to come in. It's going to come in late. So we're going to change it. We're going to say, all right, now it's going to be coming in on March 22nd. Okay, so we're going to delete that row now, and we're going to just update this formula, and we're going to see what does that do to our cash flow. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so it doesn't look like it has a huge impact, right? So uh, we're still doing okay here. We, we run this payroll. We still have $2,700. And then we get down here. Uh, we still have uh, we still have eleven thousand dollars. But now, as as the month is moving on, let's say um, let's say something happens. Um, let's say uh, you have a car, uh, work truck breakdown. So you have an unexpected bill. You know, maybe the the tranny goes out of your work truck. So we're going to say that's going to happen next Monday, which is the fifth. Um, so yep got to put a new train and let's say we can't wait we got to fix it man we got work to do we need to get a train in that truck so the mechanic says if we pay him a little extra he'll move us to the top of the line so we're going to say that training is five thousand dollars okay so we're going to update oh that wasn't right don't do that uh, so we're going to um, update our formula here oh man now I really got this all dirked up so it should be E2 sorry guys Okay, now you can see what that does. Sorry, guys. What that does is uh, it creates a cash flow pinch. So now, when I'm running this payroll on March 11th, I'm getting pinched here, right? And this is not a small pinch. This is a big pinch. You know, this is 75% of our payroll. And then even when I get this money for this fam uh, final payment for job 26310. Um, I'm, I'm not. I'm still in the. I'm still in the red. I don't come back in the positive until I get the late payment from my client on this job two two seven two dash o two. All right. So what can you do there? Uh, well, you gotta. You know, you gotta look at some things. So you know, maybe you gotta go in and say, hey, um, I'm the boss. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to sit out uh, payroll. So you say, all right, I'm gonna sit out that payroll. All right, that still doesn't plug the gap. So maybe the boss has to sit out two payrolls here. Right now, all right. Now you're getting in with within spitting distance. You know you're only short twenty four hundred dollars. Maybe you got to borrow this money from your sister to stay in the black, right? Or maybe you can uh, let's say you say, man, if I really if I work a couple Saturdays, um, I can get a job done early. And uh, I know that client pays within uh, two weeks. Okay, which almost never happens. But let's just say you've got a client that'll pay you within two weeks. So you say, hey. If I can run out on job 21010 and get some work done and bill it, I can get I can get some money in before the end of the month. Maybe I can get this money by the 29th. Okay, and then we'll update our formula here. Okay, so now we just eliminated our cash flow pinch. So that's the basic idea between a cash uh, behind a cash flow management spreadsheet. It's it's a bank ledger. Right? or like a checkbook register that looks into the future and lets you predict future cash flow pinches. And you gotta keep this up to date, right? You gotta be looking at this, you know, I look at it almost every day, but you gotta be looking at it at least two or three times a week as payments are sliding around, you're getting new jobs, jobs get delayed, unexpected bills come up, right? And then once you get, you've done this for a couple months, you'll, you'll just know there's certain dates every month that you're gonna have, um, bills come out you know most of your bills come out on the same day every month and so you can kind of pre-program this spreadsheet or, or work with one of your admin staff to do that so there you go that is how a cash flow management spreadsheet works
for a small surveying business. Thanks for watching.